Did you know that there are channels on YouTube that get millions of views and generate thousands of dollars in revenue every month by turning articles or blog posts like these into engaging videos like these? The great news is that now with the power of artificial intelligence, you can also achieve similar results in a matter of minutes without ever having to show your face on camera or learn any script writing or video editing skills. And today we'll show you just how you can do this in five easy steps with the help of ChatGPT and InVideo, even if you're a complete beginner to video creation. Let's get started. The first step is to pick an idea for your video. And a great way to get started here is to use a tool like vidIQ. You can use vidIQ to get daily ideas for your channel, do the keyword research for different topics, and use their AI coach for help in multiple aspects of video creation. But please note that you will need to be on a paid plan to access most of these features. To find relevant ideas for your channel, start with the AI coach. Use the prompt box to straight up ask the AI for video ideas or topic suggestions for a channel in your niche. Now you could just stop here and start by creating a video on a topic of your liking from the list that you have. But to really take this to the next level, you want to check the credibility of your idea using the keyword research tool that vidIQ has. Simply go to the keyword tab and put your chosen topic or keyword into the search bar. Once you press enter, you will see a scale that gives your topic a score based on how well it is likely to perform on YouTube. The higher the number on the scale, the better your chances are. As you can see here, our topic has not gotten a very high score. So we can use the additional options within the keyword research tool to really streamline our topic selection. Use the matching terms tab to look for other search terms that use your keyword but have a better chance of ranking. And then use the related terms tab to look for broader topics that are related to your industry or niche and can perform well for your channel. After searching, I find that this particular keyword has a high score. So I'm going to go ahead with this as our topic for the video. Once you've finalized your idea, the next step is to get your write-up or article for the video. Thankfully, with ChatGPT, that's super easy to do. If you haven't already, sign up to ChatGPT and you can do this with an existing Google or Microsoft account and verify your phone number with an OTP to get started. Once you're logged in, you can see a prompt box at the bottom of the screen. This is where you will give the AI prompts for the kind of article you want. As with any AI tool, how you write your prompts will massively drive the success of your video. For this topic, we want the article to be in a list format and have enough interesting tidbits so that it makes for an engaging video. And so we'll write the prompt like this. A detailed prompt like this ensures that you get as close to the desired results as possible. When writing your own prompts for an article or blog, make sure to include the following details. The format of the article that you want, the topic you want it to cover, the tone of voice you want the article to be in, any specific details you want to include, and you can also mention the word count if that is of relevance. Once you press enter, ChatGPT will give you the results in real time. Now, once we have the basic information, we can refine the results further by giving the AI additional prompts. I feel that the intro can be slightly better. So I'm going to prompt the AI to give me another intro option that has an interesting fact. And with that, we have our final article. From here, just copy and paste it into a plagiarism checker like this one. And you can see that you now have a completely unique write-up that is not plagiarized from anywhere. Getting ChatGPT to write your article is therefore a much better option than copying text from an already published article on the internet because it prevents any copyright issues from coming up in the future. Now, once you have your write-up or article, it's time to create your video. For this, log into InVideo and go to the text to video workflow in the dashboard. This will open up a library of pre-made templates to choose from. Scroll through to find a template that fits in with the theme of your video in terms of transitions, text animations, and music. You don't need to worry about the nitty gritties or specific details like the color palettes at this stage because that is something that you can easily change while editing the video. Now, once you've chosen your template, select your aspect ratio. For us, it's going to be landscape since this is for YouTube. And then click on use this template to go to the editor. Here you have your main canvas area where you will see your scenes on the right side of the screen and you have your script box on the left. 
Now all you need to do is simply copy your ChatGPT script and paste it in this script box on the screen. Make sure you break down the longer paragraphs by pressing enter so that it is not too much text for one particular scene. Select the box for auto-suggesting media. Make sure the premium stock media options are also checked and then click on create scenes. In video will then create video scenes for the entire script in real time. Now, once your scenes are created, you can go ahead and replace the automatically selected media if you want something different or feel that it's not relevant. On the extreme left, you have the complete assets menu from where you can choose to add different assets to your video. Simply select the scene where you want to change the media and then go to the video tab in the left menu. Here, you will use the search bar to search for relevant clips. Use a few different keyword combinations to find relevant results. Once you find a clip you like, I like this one, simply drag and drop it onto the canvas and hit replace in the pop-up window that appears. This will open up another pop-up window where you want to trim the duration of the clip to fit the scene. Simply select this option at the bottom of the screen that says trim video to fit scene and then click on add and your media will replace the template default. You can do this for as many scenes as you feel necessary. Once your media is replaced, you can use the controls on top of the canvas to make further adjustments to your clips, such as color grading your footage, adding effects, and even changing the animations. And if you want to change the color palette for your video, that is also something that you can do right now. Simply select the text box and then go to the text effect options on top of the screen, which is represented by this little wand icon. Here, choose the colors you want to use for your text and background fill. Make sure you check this box at the bottom of the color selector that says replace all and your video's color palette will be changed to the colors that you want. You can similarly change the animation style, the font and other details for your text as well. I like all of those things for now, so I'm going to let it stay as is. Now, once your media is locked, it's time to add your voiceover. This is super important if you want your videos to be engaging and don't want viewers dropping off in the middle. And no, you don't need to record your voiceover or get a voiceover artist. Simply go to the voiceover option at the bottom of the screen. This will switch you over to the editor workflow on InVideo, but you don't need to be confused. Simply click on the option for automated text-to-speech voiceover in the drop-down window that appears. This will open up a window on the left where you can choose the language and voice you want for your voiceover. I'm choosing British English and Brian as the voice. And once selected, simply click on generate voiceover and InVideo will generate it for you. Now give it a listen. Did you know that the average American eats around 1,996 pounds of food per year? If you like it, you can check this box at the bottom to add an automated voiceover for all the scenes and then simply click on add. You will then see a voiceover layer appear beneath the music layer on the timeline. Now, if you play the video back right now, you will find that the volume of the music is too loud for you to hear the voiceover. Do you know that the average American eats around 1,996 pounds of food per year? To change this, select the music track on the timeline and then click on the volume and fade controls on top of the canvas. Here, reduce the volume of the background music track Usually between minus 15 to minus 20 decibels is a good range, but give it a listen before you finalize. Now, once you've logged in all your elements, it's time to preview your video. We've only created this for about 40 seconds so that you don't have to sit through a 10 minute preview. Simply click on the play button underneath the canvas to view what your video looks like. Did you know that the average American eats around 1,996 pounds of food per year? That's a lot of food. Unfortunately, much of that food is highly processed and lacking in nutrients, leading to a rise in obesity, heart disease, and other health problems. But the good news is that it's never too late to start eating healthier. Whether you're looking to lose weight, improve your energy levels, or just feel better overall, making small changes to your diet can have a big impact. So, if you're ready to take the first step towards a healthier lifestyle, watch on for some tips on how to start eating healthy for beginners. And that has turned out to be a pretty great video. Once you're happy with the results, go to the top right corner of the screen and hit export. We suggest exporting in 180p for the best results. 
if at any point during the process you face any difficulty or are not able to figure out how to proceed, you can use this chat option right above the timeline to speak to our 24-7 support team. The response time is less than 30 seconds. Alternatively, you can also go to help.invideo.io to refer to the massive library of resources we have on using InVideo. Once your video is rendered, you can download it and then upload it on your channel. Make sure you think of a catchy title and design an interesting thumbnail to ensure people click on your video as well. And that's how you can easily turn your articles into faceless YouTube video completely by using AI with the help of ChatGPT and InVideo. And don't forget to check out these videos next to know how you can use AI to create stunning videos and grow your YouTube channel.